nice to see you again, nice to have you here with me. Today with something new, um, you see my guitar here, I bought a very cheap kind of gypsy guitar because I really was interested in learning how to play the rhythm like this. <laughs> not what I'd like to teach today. What I'd like to do is to share my experience with you because you see all these gypsy guitar players, they play incredibly fast and they don't play like we do. I say we, we normal guitar players. We like to use our um, E minor shape. Here is a song Bad Leroy Brown with a chord progression of, you can simply say if you want to G major or G with a 7, G7, seven, G, A, B, C and D. Listen. And now, when you play a solo, something that I learned from the gypsy guitar players is that they sometimes do very, hmm, how can we say, pragmatic things or, well, something that has not got to do with theory. You know, I'm not good at theory, but what I learned is um, they improvise in different ways. Take a look here at, for example, the G chord. You have the notes in the chord and I think you can follow me here this is a kind of G major patcho and what the gypsy guitar players sometimes do is they know they play a G chord and they use a note before every apache note. What I want you to show is this. We have the G here and they play the, well, G flat. For the next note, the D, they do the same. And then in the G chord we have the B here, they do the same. For the G here on the G, D string, they do the same. So they play, go on with that. These are the notes you can play, which sound different to, well, I have my playback here. Listen, the whole song, you can improvise on it with the, um, what is this, E minor scale, yeah, E minor pentatonic, you know that, Let's listen to me. And so on. If you want to do something different, this is one idea, you follow the chords. And play, you play the G, or you can go backwards. Then we change to the A. I mean, it tends to become a little bit boring, but you can practice this and it is something new for you. And maybe you play a kind of pentatonic lick and when the next chord comes, you can fill in um, these notes, or these kind of apeggio notes. Let's first hear how it sounds when I play these notes on top of the chords. Now 
I try to, well, I, sorry, I try to use the pentatonic scale, I haven't done this before, but try to let slip in some notes from these arpeggios, yeah? Listen to this here. some new ideas that you can follow and um, maybe you find this interesting maybe not but I found it quite interesting because you see like the most of us I'm a normal pentatonic player yeah and sometimes it is not enough you want to spice it up a little bit and uh, well maybe this little lesson helped you a little bit and uh, I hope to see you again okay bye bye